Not everything is back to normal down here, but now one more thing is. Work is done on the tunnel under the East River, connecting Brooklyn and Lower Manhattan, used by the F train. It started September 2020. Closures, detours, off and on, nights and weekends for 17 weeks, affecting the F, C, and E lines. Well, the train started running more frequently, which is great because I'm actually not late for work. These F train tubes are known as the Rutgers Tunnel. It's one of 11 tunnels damaged during Hurricane Sandy in 2012. This was the final one to be repaired and fortified. Some took more than a year. This project took eight months. MTA officials had a briefing with the Citizens Budget Commission this week. We're making progress on the, the construction cost side as well as just getting more work done, and, and, and we will continue to focus on that. Some station and maintenance work, big projects, were paused during the pandemic. Other projects were able to finish earlier. MTA is using the design-build approach, which allows contractors to be involved from the beginning with planning. Lower ridership allows for complete closures of some areas to get work done more quickly. The interim New York City Transit president says it's a new model moving forward. If you talk to New Yorkers like adults, if you explain the need to close down the system for certain periods of time because you're doing construction, you're doing really important maintenance that's going to save them time and, and that's going to make their commute more efficient in the long run, people are adults and they can handle that news and they can work around it. You give them as much notice as possible. Yeah, we need the notice and the signs to be up and understandable. We need the shuttle buses to be running. If that's the case, we need the service to be there. As for 24-hour subway service returning, uh, Interim President Feinberg said that moment is rapidly approaching. Live in downtown Brooklyn, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.